Compared to even just this summer, with our integration of Virto IFS, we've decreased the, the Docker desktop file, or we've increased the Docker desktop file sharing speed by more than 7x. So that means in the Cruise example for the Redis build that they were doing, those build times are now reduced by more than 71%. And that's before all of the amazing capabilities that we just saw from the next generation build that Matt was just talking about. And so in the coming months, we are completing the integration of Mutagen into Docker Desktop. This enables file syncing, taking full advantage of the native Linux file system performance and combining that with a simple UI inside of Docker Desktop. And the results? We'll be seeing speeds of up to 17x faster in just the coming months, a metric that we're proud to have achieved and get the chance to share with you very soon. We're continuing to invest in making Docker Desktop the launch pad across your entire journey in Dockerized app development. We're doubling down on actually enabling new features, products, and services that will help you be more productive within your interloop development, streamlining activities from first run to testing and debugging your Dockerized apps. One of our newest uh, experimental features is the Docker debug, and that's going to enable you to actually do debugging that was previously challenging, if not impossible. I've got two different things that you can do today as you leave the keynote. Uh, one, if you want to learn more about the desktop, uh, the, the Docker debug, go and download the extension. Two, if you want to get on the wait list for early access to Mutagen, the file syncing that's easily integrated into Docker Desktop, you can sign up for the wait list for the Docker Desktop preview program with the QR code here. Overall, we have been busy reducing the friction and the frustration for all of you, and in some cases, actually, making things that were not just challenging easy, but making things that were previously nearly impossible now actually possible.